Oh, that's savage! Blame my sister. <laughs> oh, I like the bow. Why aren't you wearing
<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome. It's, oh gosh, one moment. Welcome. welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I just I forgot to um, <laughs> mute myself. Yeah. So <laughs> on the other channel. So I basically heard myself three times and it actually scared me. I heard my own voice back at me and I panicked. I actually felt the panic. I was like, oh my goodness, who is this ghost talking to me? Was it like, welcome, welcome, Yeah, it was, welcome. yeah, it was terrifying. It was just actually Literally, terrifying. Literally, the last thing you said before starting the stream was, I have a feeling like I forgot something. <laughs> I just thought, no, let's carry on. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's start. Okay, so everyone, welcome to Pony Forward, a D&D stream presented by Tabletop Tavern. Um, the Tabletop Tavern are a club uh, based in Kent, England, specifically Canterbury, that hosts online and offline D&D games on Saturdays and Mondays, and actually any time in the week, specifically online games throughout the week, uh, from 6pm to 10pm uh, GMT. We welcome all players level... Uh, what is this grammar? We welcome all players levels of players. What? We, we all we play... Uh, we welcome all players Comma. level 12 to whatever. Yeah, we welcome all players... <laughs> Whatever your level of experience is what it's supposed to say, uh, from fresh faced newbies to uh, veterans uh, from across the globe. So if you'd like to join. And um, veterinarians. And veterinarians. <laughs> veterinarians. Don't confuse me. It's very easy to confuse me. Veterans and veterinarians are and vegetables. very similar words. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, anyway. If you'd like to join a community with uh, veter DMs and regular game nights, visit our website at www. Why do I bother saying that? Tabletoptavern.club. Someone put the website in the chat, please. Um, okay, so right to the stream. My name is Marianne or Maz. I am your lovely game master tonight, and I would like to introduce our players. Um, first of all, we start with Toby. Hello, my name is Toby. I'll be playing Halfling Bard Beans, and I've broken my nose three times throughout my life. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Ha I mean, for another time, we'll find out how those three times happened. No, no, let's, let's no, let's do it now. <laughs> we'll talk about it in the break. Okay, uh, let's go with Jay. Hello, my name's Jay. I will be playing Boris Lightforium, a arcane cleric that is obsessed with sandwiches. I too have broken my nose, but only once, which is where I met a good dear friend of mine um, called Gregory. And we are both sat in hospital beds, either each other with our broken faces, and the doctor was convinced we were in a fight with each other. So, h how? I mean, that one. I mean, were you though? Like, did you literally just? Never mind. No, no, no. I fell onto a bench. He was at a different school, <laughs> and that's how we met. And then we became friends. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Right, Brad. <coughs> Hello, my name's uh, my name's Brad. I am playing uh, Bren. Uh, the high elf, and he's also a were dragon. Um, I I too have broken a bone in my body, mainly like my toe, and this was when I was on holiday, and it was just like uh, this was also my like what, 18th birthday, and then my dad got like so drunk he just sat on my broken toe, what? and I'm like what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh right. Well, at least you were t 18, so technically it couldn't count as minor abuse. That's I, I, disturbing. I, was, I, I, I was pretty pretty mad, and then I also got up in a strop and kicked the bathroom door, which with also yeah. with my broken toe. Oh, I just feel like, you know, your road to recovery was probably hampered by all of those actions. But, <laughs> but you know what? Never mind. Okay, let's go to Biscuit. Hi. I'm Biscuit. I'm playing Ham the Tabaxi in their rogue. And keep on subject. The only bone I've broken in my body was my brain bone. There's no there's I'm no bones recovering. in your brain bone. I'm so your brain very bone. confused. Don't, don't want to leave her out. Yes, there okay, is. yes, there's a brain bone. I fractured a bone. I haven't like broken it. Your brain it. bone as well. I don't know. Um okay, well, welcome Biscuit and everyone. <laughs> Uh, if everyone can hear background noises, I still haven't nailed how to stream stuff like appropriately and just capture, you know, the noise coming from my mouth, as opposed to the entire household. Um, and also, my recap today is going to be a bit bigger than usual because um, our lovely YouTube YouTube channel doesn't have a record of session twelve, hence why this is session twelve point two. Did I name it right? Oh, should it be twelve point one? 
12 point is it oh yeah it should be 12.1 oh no i mislabeled everything oh dear <laughs> um either way um last session beans made his way back to the mess hall after a creepy encounter in the halls of the watchtower uh he discovered a morgue type basement situation thing um where they were um they, they looked like the bodies of people that had failed their their roles previously um the part when he returns to the mess hall the party are all sitting down chilling out and eating mr baguette aka boris was summoned to the physician's office where he learns the secret of the uh, to the food everyone in the citadel is eating to stave off the corruption uh balgraf excuses himself pale face and ill looking and disappears somewhere um then the mess hall cleared out completely leaving just the party alone and in came two tough looking guards they insisted that the party had to report to hr for their team exercise and when the party refused they got into a scuffle at this stage our dear beans was still stealthed because he'd stealthed back to the mess hall he called upon his deep magics um and twisted the fabrics of reality itself by creating a brand new spell called speak to pants is that right? It was Almost. So speak funny. with pants. Oh, speak with pants. Sorry. A great civil war ensued between the enemies and their underwear. And that's basically how they defeated them. Uh, the spell was so successful, one guard is bested while the other surrenders and is now their prisoner. Dave, the guard, now prisoner, is their captive. And we start the session with Boris, aka Mr. Baguette, walking into the mess hall that is now a literal mess. The, the party are standing with their new prisoner, David Mullen. The guard Minerva hired with his friend to guard, <laughs> with his friend guard to take the party to their team training session. Um, and the place is just a disaster. There are plates everywhere, there's a jug of water on fire somehow, and a dead guard as well. Um, Break the session first. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do? Well, Jay's walking, uh, sorry, not Jay, uh, Boris. <laughs> Boris is walking in now. Boris, what, what do you how do you react when you see the mess? Who's been jumping on the tables? Also, why are the tables massive? Oh, that was me. Sorry, I'll get off the table now. There's broken plates. Oh, is that a sandwich? Probably. Oh, I I'll go over to the baguette, pick it up, and sort of sniff down the entire baguette. Wow, you were hungry. Wow. What on earth have you lot been up to, other than breaking plates, making some form of circular bread, and jumping around on these these large tables? Bon bonking armored men. Armored men. Bonking armored men. Do you oh, know what bonking means? Right? Well, it's attacked. like with the sword. Oh you've God. been attacked. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I've been I've been with the physician. And you know, have any of you eaten any of the food here? Uh, because did you know, I found out what's actually in the food, why it tastes so different. It's absolutely fantastic. It contains a calcium prostate known as collagen. It's <laughs> made from the broken up part of round bones in the people of the Citadel. Oh, okay. Nice. okay it's, a, it, it's amazing how this actually has the, this, um, you know, it also affects our eyesight and somehow the corruption of it is all linked together. It's very, very odd. You know, the Lady Minerva is, you know, she is somehow responsible for supplying this and she also supplies the office which i was in oh it's a very very corrupt this place it's ridiculous now, i got a, i got a question <clears throat> yes how how does the grind up people get in the food do they just go in well i don't actually know that part but oh. it's either voluntary or involuntary euthanasia. Uh, is this like the room where they wanted to take us? Uh, and then we we came here, and then and then there was underwear. 
Um, what have you been taking? <laughs> Underwear. Okay. No, no, no. I, d I don't believe so. But I, to be honest, I don't actually know. All I know is that I finally found out why the food tastes so different. It's also why everything's got sort of a white, sort of a white texture. So, do you remember how they used to make bread and to make it so that there was less rat urine in it, they added chalk to it. It's very similar why it's white here, because the collagen is white from the ground up bones. Wow. Well, well, that science has actually flown right past my head. Well, basically, there's people in the food. Oh! Don't, don't, don't worry about it, everybody's corrupt here. Okay, yeah, okay. there's... I, I mean, I don't even know what's going on. First we all lie down in town, it was all raining whatevers, and then, like, there's some kind of thing that happened somewhere else, and now we're in this now, tower. On my, just, just now, Balgruff bumped straight into me. He was ah. rather rude, actually. And um, he had his little roller skates on, he was flying by, <laughs> like one of those kids delivering food on one of those annoying hover scooters. <laughs> I don't even know what a hover scooter now, thing is. He was uh, going off to see the mayor, and he was insisting he knew who the mayor was. As far as I was concerned, I didn't know who the mayor was. So, I think he's actually a little bit more twisted in the head than we originally realised. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think he's actually gone mad in the head. And not the oh, good kind no. of mad, like you, Beans and Ham. Not mad. Well, yes, but he's very odd, and his eyes were all sort of um, how how do you put it? Sort of dazed over, sort of like when you ask be uh, sort of like when you ask Bren a question, and he doesn't understand it, but permanently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do get those eyes anyway. Uh, very peculiar. What are we doing with this? So so Balgraf is sick. Yes, and he's gone off to see the. Mayor, apparently. Well, we can't. Uh, we need to go help him, not be sick. I mean, I, I was sick. Uh, why would you want to go? To, why would you want to go and see the mayor if you're sick? If it's, I mean, wouldn't that just be a like a hospital that you'll go to, or like some kind of me medic or church to kind of cure cure you up? And uh, unless he he just wants to be sick all over the mayor. Maybe Balgraf is confused. Maybe Balgraf thinks that the mayor is called hospital. I think Balgraf's going there sort of against his will. He's sort of like being drawn to him, to be honest. What? Well, sort of like... You know, you've heard the story of the Pipe Piper. No. Well, the, well basically there was a man. He had a pipe. He was called the Pipe Piper. And his little sister was called Piper. And another friend called Piper, and they did piping. Sort of plumbers. But no, no, no. <laughs> Once there's a, a pipe that you could play, and it would allow everyone to follow. I believe he's sort of been brainwashed. Hmm. By whom, I wonder? I, da, da, I da, da. This whole place is just wrong. I mean, the food's pretty good, though. <laughs> yeah, I explained that. That's. Years and years and years of ground up bone. I'm just gonna reach over to one of the shrimp on the table. Wait, if, if right. this whole you know, you know that shrimp you're about to eat? You know that crispy coating? That would be the collagen. <laughs> yes. Well, do you want to keep, you know, eating that? I wonder if, I, I wonder if like, loads of. I wonder if other things are made of collagen. Or whatever it's called anyway. I wonder if they actually... So these people that attack you... Were they yeah. provoked or...? Well, that, uh, well, they both tried to force us to go to some place we didn't want to and we kind of bonked and now one's dead. And what are we doing with the not dead one? I don't know. Hostage. Uh, maybe we, maybe we should find out who the mayor is. Uh, um, um. Well, I, I mean, you, you could uh, promise to keep me alive, and I'll t take you to the mayor. No promises. I'm not saying anything then. Um, 
no, keep speaking. Promise to keep me alive. I mean, no. We can guarantee you no harm will come to you when we're on the way to the mayor. Oh, 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 oh that's tr no, no, that's sneaky. Uh, no, no, uh, you <laughs> promise. I want a contract. Yeah, I want. I'm not going until I sign a contract saying that I'll be protected. No, I'll go get you inside. One moment. That's gonna scurry on away. Well, we can't. We can't promise to protect you after we've been delivered to the mayor. Well, you're not gonna come with us for the rest of your life, are you? Uh, well, so this whole us eating people thing is a bit of news to me. I, I, I'd rather stick to you guys if it's all the same. You're more than welcome. I can't. I can't see why not. Um. So why did you attack my friends, and where were you going to take them? Um. So Beans has just rolled insight. What are you trying to find out? Well, Beans isn't too sure if this guard really doesn't know what's going on, considering they were literally sent to attack them by the woman who's uh, quite involved in this whole cannibalism thing. So you get the impression from your role that um, they're very scared and whatever is going on, he probably wasn't aware of the full the full um, extent. extent of it. So he, ha yeah. Um, so back to the guard and Jay, uh, <laughs> the guard and Boris. He's gonna say, <clears throat> well, you see, uh, Miss uh, Lilypad, Ms. Lilypad, she, she wanted to escort the party to the team exercise. That's what we was told. Now, have you ever escorted anyone to a team exercise before? Oh, yeah. Did you see them again? He's gonna pause and think. Did he see them again? Did he? <laughs> That's the, the first roll. Oh, uh, well, now that you think about it, no. Wow. Guess they were made into that, um, see whatever it was called. Now, one thing we could do is go take a look at this place from a safe distance. I think we're about to be attacked. Oh, you're not. I just have my it up. My <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not. You're just. It's because I always forget to have the turn order up until like half of uh, half of you have rolled. So I'm just like, no, I'm just having it up now. I wonder what people taste like. Delicious. I can't even. I don't even know if I've actually tasted people before. I mean, you have because you've been eating the food here, so you technically have. But mm. not you personally, but Bren. <laughs> yeah, no. Because <laughs> Bren, Bren's like, you know, that, and he's like, mm, I wonder, if, you know, when I'm when when I'm a dragon, it's just like, might be eating people. I don't know. Bren has no idea what happens when he turns into something else. Mm. Okay, so what's the rest of the party doing? Dancing. No, not really. Um, we'll come tottering back with a wooden plank with a sheet of steel on it. Sheet Here it. is a sign. If I give it to you, it has been signed. It's a sign. Huh? He's going to look at the sign and then at the tabaxi. And then. Did you hold it? It's a contract. You got it. He's not. He's not holding. He's not holding it right now. <laughs> He's hands looking at Boris, his hands. and he's got his hands up like, um, wh what? <laughs> um, as you can see, our, our party has suffered some severe <laughs> uh, personality disorders. So, you're more than welcome to come with us, but the quicker we get this solved, the quicker everyone will be safe. I just want, I just want to live. Well, have you noticed we're all alive? 
take the problem. contract if you want to live. Uh, your sleight of hand is, he's, I think he's tied up or held up or something, so you're just going to kind of end up shoving it in his hand, in his face. Perfect. Um, and he's going to hold it awkwardly. Bobbin, stop it. Bobbin is the baby, and he's trying to grab the keyboard. He wants the keyboard. He wants the keyboard. Right. So, um, he's just going to size so, it, but I just like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll I'll take you there, but you must escort me home after, so I can look my I can look myself up with. Well, with uh. Never mind. Let's just go. He's going to conveniently remember that he was um, in a fight with his friend because he was having an affair with his wife. Uh, yeah. That kind of thing, I remember. <laughs> Just keep in mind that if you do decide to screw us over, we have talked to your underwear. We know your darkest secrets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are his darkest secrets? Uh, how could he speak to underwear? Uh huh? I have powers if, if, beyond your understanding. If they're all natural products, speak with plants. Ah, <laughs> this place is very futuristic. Mm. Okay, anyway. So, um, the fire, the jug that's on fire is just going to keep being fiery and the fire's going to spread across the table and stuff. Uh, I'll, so. put the f I'll put that out with Ray of Frost. <clears throat> nom nom. my hand out and sort of... <laughs> Breeze across the table. <laughs> Wee! This is genius Maybe detail. Little ice rink. Yeah, it would work for the tabaxi. Robin. Okay, so now we put that fire out. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, so um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you, I've got Robin t uh, tugging on the headset, so he's it's like dragging my head down to the left. Okay, okay, so you're all running off. Uh, um, oh gosh, let me try and remember where I'm at. <laughs> Oh yes, you're going, uh, the guard is going to lead you out of the mess hall and um, at this stage, he, he's gonna, as he's walking forward, he's gonna look back and he's gonna say, what about, what about Dave's body? I mean, I mean, I mean we'll, we'll deal with him later right now, we have bigger things to do. But we'll but, come but, back but, for him, don't worry. No, but but like if if um if she sees that she'll definitely set some more people after you. He's well, got a good point. Is there a broom cupboard we could shove him in? I mean they didn't really pose a problem to us anyway. Yes, but if they send more, any it will be even sending one can be a problem. I mean, they, I bet they'll see the blood on, you know, the little stone things. Oh, the floor, yes. We could clean up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they could, uh, they can see see the blood on the little stone things. They and that person can actually see that. Like, well, we haven't come when we were asked to, so, you know. Yeah, the problem's already there. Let's just leave him. Yeah. Okay, so are you all deciding to leave him? Is he dead dead or does he look like he's... Uh... I think you guys killed him. I'm pretty Let's sure it, it wasn't... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a... Uh, I, I think it was an accidental... I'm gonna smash him with my spell, but not to kill him. Of course, spells don't work like that. Uh, I will do a quick medicine check on him. He's on... Uh, he's on... He's on the brink of death. Like he's oh. he's bet he's like he's still salvageable, but just like in the next minute, otherwise he's dead. Um, basically, we can bring him back, but it's not going to be free. Anyone? No one jumping um, straight uh, forward. Beans, Beans is gonna reach out 
touch him and he's going to cast enhance ability and bring his endurance up so he regains uh, 8 hit points sorry no he gains 8 temporary hit points and his endurance is uh, he's sorry he's got advantage on constitution checks so um how long does that last for as long as I concentrate or an hour and I will get down on my knees to him and whisper in his ear come on don't walk into the light and cast healing word for eight additional hit points yep okay <laughs> hey baby mom I whisper in your ear <laughs> Okay, he is, yeah, he's he's going to, his eyelids are going to flutter, open, and then they're going to shut again because he's still very weak and very unwell. But he's alive. Yeah, uh, he whispers to his underwear, You should get your master out of here. It's weird. He literally goes out butt first. It's like worse than Romage. Yeah, he's sliding. Yeah. <laughs> sliding across... And uh, and he's gonna go off somewhere, and it's just like a trail of blood, because he was hurt quite badly, um, and it's going to slide out, and you're gonna see it go down the corridor as you exit the building. And uh, just so you know, you guys are really like you got roughed up as well, didn't you, throughout the fight? Yeah. How badly roughed up is everyone? Are we talking like we need to t sit down for a little bit? Um, maybe like sit down for a little bit, like I'm thirty fifty two. Beans is actually quite alright. How is Ham? I'm fine because he wasn't here, so I'm still on my last one. How's Ham? Ham is doing great. Okay, so you guys are going to be alright if we're going to another encounter. Fantastic. Actually, before we leave... Let's get the golem up! Everyone, gather around me. Alright. Do you want a hug? No. <laughs> yes, he does. Are you sure? He does want a hug. No, but I believe we may be needing this. So... As a gift from me to you three, I give you my blessing. Ooh. Oh, it's Can I eat it? Mm -hmm. Well, no, but it will give you a little bit of, well, give you a little bit of extra, and all your hit points um, <laughs> get an additional five. You get your maximum goes up by five. Nice. For the next eight hours. That is very nice of you. I feel slightly more spry in my step. Mm. Oh yeah, and I can also and I can also uh, heal myself, and then like um, uh, then Bren would focus and then do second wind. Nice. Okay, great. <clears throat> nice. Hmm. All right. So, um, you're gonna head out. The guard is gonna lead you down a corridor, and he's gonna look around sheepishly, and he's gonna say, "Um." He's just looking like he wants he wants to tell you something, but he's not really getting it out. He's just saying, "Um." <laughs> um, mm. we should wait. We should wait a bit. We should wait till it's night time. Uh, I I know, but if there's like I I mean, I have this condition where, it, I mean, if if there, if there was like a moon in the sky, I would just well, I'd become different. Was uh, okay. Why do we have to wait until night? Uh, um. It's just, it's easier. And Minerva's asleep. Inside. 
Do it. Yeah, I believe him. I'm you gonna, do. I'm, I'm going to see inside that as well. Let's see. You will believe him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's quite believable. It would be easier if they were asleep. Uh, I um, don't. I don't. We, if we do go out in the evening, what are we going to do about Bren's uh, like skin condition? I mean, yeah. I, I, does Bren uh, see that he's kind of like, you know, just being like a? Uh, he's not telling the truth with that Tony. No, everyone believes him. He he doesn't seem like he's lying or anything. Oh, okay. Um, Brent, yeah, I may be able to subdue your um, involuntary transformation temporarily. Uh, and how are you going to do that? With magic, of <laughs> course. Uh, I mean, uh, what kind of magic -y thingy are we talking about? I mean, <laughs> well, what's affecting you is a curse. You've obviously been cursed by some form of theory and throb or some, something along them lines. So I will attempt to remove the curse, even if it's only temporarily, or maybe you're only partly transformed. You know, you maybe, you know, just grow a nostril or something. Ah, okay, okay. okay. No, I just, the last thing I remember before this whole thing kind of kicked off was me running from with someone and then I'm, you know, me being very cold and now I'm alive still could change so we can either try it now or when it's affecting you i i, I mean you could try maybe maybe try it when it's uh i mean you could try it now and see what happens no no we'll wait till it affects you and then you know I, i'll see if i can bring bring out your demons why don't we just blow up the moon instead sounds like a plan yeah that, well, that makes is there if multiple moons in this world? <laughs> if you can get me within 120 foot of it, I can magic missile it. <laughs> <laughs> then, the moon, oh, then the moon will be all. Oh. <laughs> Let's find the tallest building in this town. <laughs> I wonder if it will look like the moon from Are Smashing pump pump Pumpkins. <laughs> Are they stand on your shoulders? You sound someone else. Yes, we'll eventually get there. I think it makes complete sense that you guys want to do that. <laughs> right, okay, so um, the guard is shifting around nervously and he's going to say, we, we should find somewhere to hide because um, in, in the evening she likes to patrol. With her guards. And he's going to use air quotes for guards. Ah, but I guess they are kind of guards, but I guess they're not guards? What? Guards. Air quotes. So, guards. something that guards her that isn't a guard. Guards. 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 Air quotes. The more you tell us, the better we can defend you against whatever wrath she oh, might incur oh, on you. I don't, they're just very big. I don't, and they're all wearing lots of armor. I don't actually know what they look like inside. You know what they say? Ah. No. The bigger they are, the harder they punch you in the face. Yes. How much do you mean? No, don't know what my they look like on the inside. Are these some kind of suit? Trojan horse? What is a Trojan horse? Trojan horse. It was a great big horse made by Trojans. Uh, sorry guys, I, I um, my my, I accidentally unplugged myself, so the last like minute or half a second or thirty seconds or whatever, nobody heard what you guys said. So what did you say, Jay? Sorry, can you repeat that? What's a Trojan? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't well, he's, really he's remember. He said he doesn't know what they, they're big. He doesn't know what's inside. So, are they some form of... It doesn't push? look like a horse. No. Okay, so what does it look like? It looks like a big person in armour. Not yeah. to overuse the spell every single session, but... Considering that we are just wasting time, and our good friend Brad needs to heal up anyways. 
Why don't we just hide in the tiny hut that I could create for us? Oh yeah, yeah we cool. can do that. I have a suggestion. We yes? go into the kitchen and then we use it. <laughs> I think Sounds this is good. good um, I would like to investigate the food more. Yeah, it's a good place to start. Okay. I was going to use the very clever nose to try and locate the kitchen. <clears throat> Excuse me, perception. Perception. I think my baby's pooping and he's smiling at me. Yeah. I could only smell underwear. Oh no. Ooh, it smells. It, it's very informative. Um. But but not the kind of information you need right now. <laughs> Beans points at the big, gigantic wooden sign that says kitchen, and goes that way. That's that's the best way. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> Wearing witherspoons. Wow, Beans, you're so <laughs> clever. Um, I don't have a map for a kitchen, so I'm gonna have to suddenly pull one out of my butthole. <laughs> yeah, opens the door into a wide void. What is going on? Why is God pulling a kitchen out of her butthole? <laughs> I don't know what it's clearly a kitchen. Look, yeah. you can use a magical thing called the theatre of the <coughs> This is literally. I found the perfect kitchen! God gives birth to a oh kitchen. Gosh. Oh, it's probably expensive because it's perfect. It's just is very. It center islands? It's just very this game, you know? It's just, is it copyright? So it's, it's, free? Already broke, it's already broken then. It's going to be Hikea, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hikea kitchen! <laughs> We just enter Hikea and never come out. <coughs> I'm gonna have to make up three NPCs that I wasn't prepared for. But that's alright, that's cool. I can do this. In the kitchen, so in the, the kitchen. chef, the sous chef, and Dave who's in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, it's not uploading! Come on! Oh no, there it is, I got it. Egg and hole or something like that. <laughs> okay, here we go! Count that's down, right. please! Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ta-da! Oh, I have to put you in the. Oh, uh, one sec. <laughs> Anticlimactic. Ta-da! Oh. <laughs> How's that a kitchen? Oh, scroll. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it, it's... Oh, it's the three bears! It is the three bears! It's just, it's just... Yeah, maybe that's not the most appropriate. It's the first one that came up when I typed it into Pixabay. Like, don't judge me. Who, who, what's this? There's bears in this kitchen. Now, oh, no. you notice they've all got a different size bowl of food. <laughs> and look, they're copyrighted. Oh, they're not. <laughs> now, they're not, this is free. This is free. has golden <laughs> locks hair. Um, Boris? No, my, my hair is white. That's the closest thing. I mean, my hair is white, but I'm very young. I don't know. Okay, maybe that's not working as a kitchen. Whatever, just let's use the theater of the mind. It's just the nonsense uh, your aspect. Hair's, you're okay. kind of a blonde cat, aren't you? Uh, uh, yes, sure, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hair. I got I got hair. This is hair. This is lighter hair. <laughs> and this so is darker hair. Why don't you go speak with the bears? You're probably the closest thing they'd recognise. <laughs> you see, they... Ham, Ham is already st stood on the chair with her hands reaching over to the bowl. Which bowl blatantly. are you going for? Uh, this one. <laughs> it's the biggest one. That one's too big. <laughs> no, we can't this one then. And goes to the slightly That one's smooth. too small. <laughs> no, uh, oh, this one, this one in the middle, this one. That one's that just one's right. Just right. <laughs> this got weird really fast, and I was not uh, expecting just it. Just there's there's no rip, uh, you know consequences for for these bowls. Nah. I think in the original one. No, she doesn't die. She just gets run out of town or something. You mean, you mean okay. she's in the porridge now, like everyone else, and Ham loses <laughs> porridge and just. What's it flavoured with? Strawberries. 
For a strawberry pie. Soil and green. <laughs> so it's the Quaker Zoots little packs. Oh gosh. <laughs> we are so derailed now. Okay, alright, alright, okay. <laughs> let's let's get back. You guys are staying in the kitchen. Um uh, you know, at, at first glance, this is a kind of nonsense. Actually, let me just get a more appropriate. <laughs> um, so as you walk in, the, the place is uh, quite eerie and not friendly looking at all. You know, there's a very kind of like, do not disturb, or are you local type of feel to it. And uh, the cooks and things are going to look up at you as you walk in. And be Hello. like, what do you want? Hello there. <laughs> um, if you'd like to go to the edges, uh, we're going to be using a little bit of magic in the centre of the room. You're not supposed to be in here. Okay. But we've got a guard with us. Oh, look, oh, oh, it's Mullen! It's it's Mullen! What, what's up, Mullen? And they're all going to be all chummy. Dave is just terrified of everything right now. And he's, like, shaking. And he's, like, wondering... I'm terrified of that egg as well. Do these people... Do these people... Know those, what's going on with food? Are those Toblerones in that egg? I don't know. Yeah. No. Oh, it's people. It's always people in the egg. Wow. Oh. Oh gosh, it does look like Toblerones. Okay, no. Um, <laughs> so, um, Dave is going to do his best impression of someone who knows what they're doing. And he's just saying, uh, clear off everyone. We're going to do a, a food inspection for the for the hygienes and the foods and things. Right, everyone, this is my team. <laughs> this here is Dave, Jeff. Jeffrey is pointing at all of you. Okay. Hello, I'm Dave. And he's going to persuade, but it's probably going to go horribly wrong, so he's going to need help. He's doing a shoddy job of it. Um, beans whispers in the ancient tongue of pants. Everyone, flee now. This is your moment to be free. Okay, that's going to give him advantage then. I didn't mean to roll, like, okay, so that's nine. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that's going to not help very much. Um, the pants are just going to get a little tighter, which makes the cooks grouchier. <laughs> and... He <laughs> says, uh, you need to go now. We have had reports that there is an infestation of hand lies here in the kitchen that we need to get rid of or they will grow as big as a horse okay you can you can do a deception or performance um, oh! <laughs> I, will, I will then use thaumaturgy um to create an ominous sort of whispers and rumbles alongside as if there is some sort of creature in here okay one of the uh, you're gonna hear a oh 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 and then they're gonna run out, you know, scratching their backside. <laughs> just like that baby did just there. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, you smiley bug? I love you. I don't love any of you, I just love the baby. I'm not, just in case anyone <laughs> He's so cute, he's making noises. Um, okay, so um, the, the kitchen are gonna clear out, but the kind of head chef guy is going to stare at uh, Dave Mullen, the guard who you have, and it's with a side glance, a very ominous side glance, and uh, I'll mention this to Minerva then, shall I? But then he's still going to scratch his backside on the way out because, yeah, butt lice or whatever I it is. Trip him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you really? Yeah. Okay. So he's going to trip. Let's make, him, let's, let, let's make him do a deck save just to see if he. I don't think so, but. Let's see. Oh, he just hop skips away. Barely though, and he's gonna glare at you. Like I've got my eye on you, type of glare. Um. Anyway, they all clear off. You've made an enemy. Um. And the kitchen is empty now. Okay. You immediately raid the pantry. Wow. <laughs> Midnight snacks. 
I'd like to look in the pantry for essence of collagen. Oh. Oh, I just saw saw in my tool. I I just saw on my tools that Bren uh, it has proficiency in cook cooks utensils. So is there any cooks utensils? <laughs> There's the loads. Kitchen, it's I a kitchen. I'd hope so. <laughs> it's yeah. a kitchen, and also, um, you know, you've got tons of ingredients as well. And uh, let's see, in investigation for Boris. <laughs> okay, I'd like to do some investigating. I add cooks utensils to my inventory. Nope, there's no obviously written down. No, it's eleven is eleven is fine. You are going to find a large sacks of, uh, well, no, they're not large sacks. Sorry, they're tubs, tubs of uh, ground powder, just with the a uh, uh, a black label on them. No words, nothing, just a black label. Uh, I'd like to open up one of them and sort of sniff it, but not enough to get it up my nose. Okay, give it a sniffle. And I'm thinking, is this definitely ground up bones? I mean, I don't know how you could tell, but I guess... Yeah, all right, you can... Well, it's a spell component for a spell I know. Okay, in that case, yes, you can tell it's ground up bones. Yeah. Delicious ground up bones. I wonder if I can actually cook something here. Well, you're not using this. Uh, then I want to... How many bat tubs have I found? You found an entire pantry full of them. I, I'd look around for little baggies or some pouches to take some with me for my spells for later on. Then I'm gonna pour the rest down the sink. I want to clog it. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. You how you find? Do a, a d I don't know. Do d six or something. Okay. find five five baggies I, I'll put about 100 five. 100 grams each which is you know you almost have that's half quite a half, lot. you have half a kilo it's a lot there so <laughs> that's two pounds 2.2 pounds or something so i've got 500 grams of ground up spoon indeed and my child is getting annoyed so i think that's a good time to have a break so be right back everyone
everyone welcome back uh thanks for your patience we took a slightly longer break because of feeding children and things i'm not sure what the other guys were doing because they don't have kids but you know the equivalent yeah if i go out and offer food to children it's not gonna be good <laughs> um okay so welcome back we finished off with everyone clearing out the kitchen um and uh some things being found the the ground bones of people that was used to prepare the food so now that the kitchen's empty and everyone has stopped doing what they were doing or, uh, sorry everyone's done what they need to do what are you guys doing are you resting are you faffing around are you waiting till night time i thought we're gonna hut it up yeah yeah well brent well brent's like trying to cook something so everyone but brent is is hutting it up i'm making i'm making the hut around one of the stoves so he can cook yeah Okay, great. So, what are you gonna cook? What What are you What are you trying to find? I um, I was thinking, would it be nice if like Bren can make some pizza? <laughs> pizza. He said a stove, not an oven. But you could I, make pizza on a stove, I guess. I I assume it's a stove and stove, like a oven stove combo. Okay, sure. Why not? Right. Well, it's a fantasy world. I'm pretty. You know, you can just. You know, it's fine. I, it'll be It'll be called something else. I mean, if you've ever got the D and D cookbook. And it's like, I, and it's like you get things like hand pies, and I'm like, this is just a freaking Cornish pastry. Yeah. Okay. So, um, all right. So let's do an investigation for you to see if you can find your ingredients. Yeah. Can I, can I get like assistance for it? I don't know. Who's assisting you? Yeah. Does anybody want to? I'm gonna make something. Does Does anybody want to help me investigate? Because, I, I mean, I, I remember, like, I like cooking. What are you making? Well, I'm actually making this kind of, like, a... I would call it... Like a cheesy... A cheesy pie thing. Do you have cheese? Um, I need lots of dough and, like, a... Lots well, the of... The pantry's got flour. Yeah. Flour, water, butter... So mm. I don't know what actually goes in these things. I think I like all of those things. Yeah. It's going to be really good. And pizza, uh, and, and cheese going to gonna be really stringy and it's going to taste stuff nice. Tomatoes, it's really nice. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, we good. get it all. Oh, I mean, we're in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll look. I'll use well, my amazing nose to find stuff again. Well... They, well, while Bren is cooking, I'm going to stand behind Bren, pull out my holy symbol, and cast Arcanist's Magic Aura to um, mask his creature type so that when he transforms, um, no other spells will be detectable. Mm. And that way, if they're going to track us using magic of some kind, that may be a way to track us at night, is tracking something different. Yeah. So I'll use Arcanist and Magic Aura. Nice. Ooh. So do I get a uh, advantage on my investigation mode? Yes. Yay. Eighteen. Yeah. So you're gonna find the ingredients you need to make pizza, uh, and you <laughs> even find some bits of. Marinated meat as well. Yum. Oh, nice. Mmm, more human to eat. <laughs> Marinated in more human. Yum, yum, Good yum. thing. None of us are humans, so it's not cannibalism. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I guess so. Uh, I, uh, yeah. They're, they're rather similar to dwarf, to be honest. They're just a bit taller and don't live as long. I'd rather not eat them. Mm. I mean, you guys I are awful. Oh, but on. the meat's already there. Why let it go to waste now? Yeah, I guess if we, if you're in a certain situation and you're <laughs> absolutely starving. Yeah. Okay. So do your roll to see how good your pizza comes out and add your okay. your uh, proficiency uh, bonus. Proficiency. So what would that be? Because I got cooking cooks utensils as. So you just you, you just add your proficiency. You don't add anything else. No dex. No nothing. Just proficiency. Okay. So what? What additional skills do I add? Like nothing. Swatha? No, just just do your proficiency bonus. Yeah, but what's um, 
what ability is he rolling with, not skill, what ability? That's what he's asking. <clears throat> yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't. You. He doesn't roll utensils with an ability with an ability unless it states it, which it doesn't do for cooking utensils. Yeah, you just roll it and then you add your proficiency yeah, modifier. Yeah, that's it. So like, if you had the the what's it called the um, the gaming set, I think you can add like sleight of hand yep. and stuff to it. But you with, with cooking utensils is just a flat proficiency. It's a flat roll with the proficiency bonus attached, and that's it. Oh nice! Can I get can I get assistance for it or? Something no, like it's that? just you cooking. Cause I'm pretty okay. sure if if you had everyone else helping you, especially if it was Ham, which would you know Ham <laughs> would be trying to help, bless them, um, you would have to roll with a disadvantage because they'd be saying all sorts of nonsense. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> put this in it. No, this. this. Here, put this in it. And she oh, eight, eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, it's a pretty good pizza. Yay. Uh, well, uh, made myself a thing. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna call it a pizza. Nickname me a pizza. Call it an open sandwich. <laughs> an open sandwich. <laughs> it's basically what pizza is. A hot open sandwich. It's a cheese toasty. It's like a deconstructed cheese toasty with extra ingredients. Laid out flat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... I'd look like a pizza, that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That, I'm drawing the pizza. I don't know why I'm wasting time. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <clears throat> no, I have to draw it now. Oh, no, guys, why? Okay, right, so the night... Uh, has anyone been keeping an eye on our friend Dave Mullen, the guard? Yeah, yeah we cut his uh, Achilles tendon so he can't walk away and then we healed him in the morning. Yeah, I'm sat on him at the moment. <laughs> I'll just be offering him a pizza. <laughs> He's gonna decline. Um, all right. So the night goes by. No, sorry. The the rest of the day goes by uneventfully. Let's see. So this is about ten thirty, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten in the ten, so you you guys technically have had you've had a long rest. Um, by the time night time hits the place, the whole the you've not really seen or noticed anything random happening outside the demon's tiny tiny hut. Nobody has tried entering the kitchen. Uh, what would you like guys like to do now? The guard is sleeping. Dave Mullen is asleep. That was a very so, nice pizza, wasn't it? So we we got a long rest, or we didn't? You did. We did. Okay, well then, since long rest is gone, I'll recast aid. Fantastic. Um. And the the spell I placed on Brad's got another 16 hours left. Yay! Oh, I just sawed the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a it's work of art. I should have been an art. I should have been. I should have been an illustrator. Who did the nails on the guy? Me. That was Brad. <laughs> my my mum's a beautician, so I just. See, so you nails. take after her. Bless you. Very yeah. good. Hmm. They are fabulous. You probably wouldn't have nails that colour when you're cooking. It's them. like it's like painting D and D miniatures, but they it really smells. Um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's pretty <laughs> much what it is. Yeah. Right. Okay. So next thing is, what what are you guys doing next? The, uh, so Ham is sleeping on top of Dave the guard. And he's snoring. Like that. And Ham's on top of him, snoring louder. Go on then. <laughs> okay all right i'm just waiting for you guys to like hmm. suddenly the whole place falls apart and you're exposed no go on you tell me what's going on or what you're no. doing shall we shall we heal the gentleman whose achilles heel you cut i can't believe you actually did that in game i mean i, mean, I guess so and um like that i mean obviously i will go down to him, hold his legs together 
Oh, this, it looks like it's going to hurt and give it a little twist. And as he screams, I scream with him, casting Healing Word. <laughs> Eight? Yeah, he, he's, yeah, he's all right. He's now fine. And well, that's, that's you, actually, you actually, you know, he had slightly shortened Achilles tendon. So actually your Healing Words fixed them the right way. So basically, you guys have just performed surgery on the on the man. Uh, fantastic. Right. So he's going to say, oh, suppose you want me to take you to the mayor's office now. Yes, please. Um, shall we wake Ham up? Uh, what, what's Ham? What Ham? Who? Ham. Ham. The cat. Ham, wake up. I'm going to walk up behind Ham, uh, then use Thaumaturgy to increase my voice three times. I want to ask. I want to ask Ham something first. Why not just put a cucumber in behind yeah, her? You better wake her up, and then you can ask her <laughs> something. No, no, I mean in game, out of game. <laughs> Go on. I'm typing away at them in private. Shh. Why do? I'll be using Thaumaturgy to create harmless tremors on the ground and then straight afterwards increasing my voice and shouting. You can actually make like a farty noise and then tremors as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not going to sound like a farting noise if you make it really loud though, is it? It's just going to sound oh, like no, something. No, no, I don't want to fart. I, I just want a little earthquake under the floor and then me just shouting, wake up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a roll for the guard, a secret roll that nobody knows what it's for. And it's gonna be perception. We know what it's for now. You don't know what it's for. No, I mean it's perception, but you don't know what for. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is this is gonna be funny for Biscuit but nobody else. Ah. <laughs> uh... Never mind, he's gonna get up, uh, wipe the drool from his face, and leave the hut, uh, grab a slice of extra pizza on the way, and then take a bite, realise that he wasn't supposed to have it because it's got humans in it or whatever, spit it out, and hand it back to all of you. We should probably get going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't change uh, tonight, that's good. You did. Ham, wake up. I don't know. Ham, are you awake? Did makeup. all of that nonsense? Grab a brush, put on a little makeup. <laughs> Maybe roll to see. Be like a perception or something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe it would be constitution safe if you want to stay asleep. Still asleep. No, you're you're awake. No, you're awake. You're awake. Sorry. No, you're awake now. You awake. Uh, Ham will reach out her arms towards. Uh, Towards Boris, still yeah. part way asleep. She's swatting the air. <laughs> Trying to put the alarm clock out. Wah. Wah. Come on, wakey wakey. No, wakey wakey. Yes, wakey wakey. We're going to go see the mayor. Are they nice? Possibly. Where's B? Yeah, where is he? I'm right here. Yeah, okay, I'll this... wake up now. And <laughs> this um, hut can't exist without yeah. the inside of it. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in the kitchen. Yes. I slept very well. As did I. Yeah, humans make very good cushions. Oh, f thanks, I think. Laying on top of the poor bloke who's had his Achilles heel cut. <laughs> it's like laying on top of my broken toe and being drunk like my dad. <laughs> you know, like that's on that's on public record. <laughs> like, if that's something your dad didn't want anyone to know, it's too late. No, it was just really funny though. 
<clears throat> okay, anyway, so, um, yeah, you guys are ready to go. Like, you can hang out in the kitchen all you want. There's pizza there still. Yeah. It's heart well, leftovers. Heart candies. With I love you on them. <laughs> oh. Where did the heart candies come from? I don't know, I just, the red is making me think of heart candies. It's the nails. Oh, yeah. It's the nails that's doing it. <laughs> anyway, people. We are people. Yeah, you're people. You're just standing around in the kitchen. What are you doing? Am I going to have to get a DMPC in there that's not the guard and just be like, chop, chop? Shall we, shall we leave? Come on, Thank you. <laughs> I assumed we were waiting on him to say whether or not we could leave now or whether the guards would still be around. He doesn't know. <laughs> He's been stuck in here with you. No, but he said we'd have to wait till night. We, is it night enough? Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. It's my fault then. Sorry, guys. I was holding you up. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> um, all right. So he <coughs> he's going to say, oh, oh, I don't know. This kitchen shouldn't be empty, but it is. So, like, let's go have a look. So he's going to trot on outside. And he's going to peek out of the mess hall, which is pitch black. And then he's going to look down the hall, which is also pitch black. And then he's going to quietly creep back. And he's going to look absolutely terrified. And he's going to say... She's patrolling. Uh, okay. At this time, I think she's. You said she'd be asleep. Us. Uh, we should. Can we sneak past? You guys have got magics. I don't okay. think I've got enough magic to hide my clumsiness. I I only got I only got like uh myself and my. Big sword. You can try. Oh, yo, we just kill her. The gods shrugging. Um, she's got her special guards. We could, if we kill her, would the special guards just stop working? I don't know. What's the special guards? That's scary a bit. Should People we say I'm special too. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to crack Why are you a... laughing? <laughs> it's too! <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd like to crack a joke about that, but then again, it'll be too spicy. You don't. Okay, alright, let's go. <laughs> can we have a little look at these special guards to see if we know anything about them? Yeah, you can try if you want to, stealthily. Uh, stealthily. Oh, yeah, I'd like to go stealthily and check. Go on then, do my stealthily roll. My absolute stealthiest roll ever. Which, what button do I press to make it disadvantage? Uh, why do you have disadvantage on stealth rolls? Because of my armor. Ah, then you do keep lowest one. No, I mean with D&D &D Beyond. Oh, I don't have a clue. I didn't... actually don't know, for real. Let's have a look. I think it's um, click shift or it's control. I, I press control. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, it's neither of those. <laughs> no, nope, that was also the wrong thing. Why don't you just roll it twice and then we'll just take the lowest one? There you go. Eleven. Right. Okay, uh Alright, alright, okay, oh, alright. Yeah. I'm right, it is uh it's control. It is control. It turns out I pressed the wrong button on my keyboard and was on the wrong skill. <clears throat> so, uh Perception. Uh they have to oh all right so you're gonna peek out of the hallway and uh, why do I have two of Bren and why don't I have Boris where's Boris yeah oh whatever let me just switch screen boop We've got two brands because of this echo from last time. I deleted it though. Never mind. I think I accidentally brought over the extra Bren as opposed to the Boris. Never ah. mind. My bad. Okay, so you're going to look through the corridor, and the minute you peek through, everyone, three different heads are going to turn to face the doorway of the mess hall. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> and you're over here. This is where you are. Um, so the I minute you step, the <laughs> they're going to start wandering towards you. Okay, we may or may not have a problem, guys. Okay. She's out there and she's at the door. Maybe I can talk to my great sword. Um, if needed, I could provide a long enough distraction to get you lot to run away. So, great sword, what should we do about this? Um, so, ah, oh, yeah, I named it Wackus Bonkus, didn't I? I have no idea what you named your weird sword, but yeah, let's uh, go with that. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we? What do what do we do about it? What shall we do, Wackers Bonkers? Kill her! Ooh, you naughty Wackers Bonkers! <laughs> what? It's just. It, has anybody seen horrible histories before? I have, no. I read the books when I was a kid, loads, but not in. <laughs> anyway, let's just move on from that. Like, okay, what are you guys doing? There's enemies at the door. The guards that the oh. the, the the special guards, the big. Uh, armored guys that the Dave Mullen, your captive, described are is what um, Boris saw. Well, Boris clearly has already infiltrated the ranks. I, I'm just sorry. I, that's your token. I'm just hiding him in the the, sh the you know the the room that you're all hiding in. Hiding um, our room. Would I know that if these people get in, we're dead? I think. Uh, you. It's it's more like. <laughs> <laughs> Ham! Stop it! You bad cat. Bad kitty. Okay, anyway. Um What was I doing? Oh yeah. So you you didn't really get a enough of a glimpse. You just know that they're coming towards you. But the guard is terrified. They, uh, Dave Mullen is terrified. Okay, there's things coming towards the door. I think it's her. <clears throat> You're going to hear a voice shouting through the door, knocking knocking on there eventually, and uh, it's just go it's going to be Minerva or friendly. Hi there, open up. I've been looking everywhere for you. You missed your team exercise, everyone. I don't think I want to do the team exercise. Beans looks at the others and says I have a plan. Follow my lead. Okay. No one's here. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one's here. I will face palm. I'm not here. I promise. It's a twenty-five deception, I think. <laughs> I don't oh, use. I hate you to roll that with doesn't matter. Seventeen deception. <laughs> I believe you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's kind of going to be like, oh, okay, here's just a wind. I think if you're trying to do something impossible, it's just not, it's not going to. I'm sorry, but it's just not going to. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you just go? Kind of what? We are not the adventurers you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> we're not the. <laughs> we're not the adventurers you're looking for. Helps actually. Okay, yeah, let no, me ro no. let me roll advantage. Uh, I'm gonna roll with advantage. Um, my, my name's Dave, but I'm not the other guy. <laughs> By the way, I was eating beans. <laughs> I said, I said with disadvantage, which means he just gets a twenty-five. Oh, it's standard roll. Okay, twenty-five. Okay, so twenty-two. <laughs> oh, she believes. <laughs> oh, she believes. She believes. She believes. Okay. She's like, oh. I'm so sorry. I'm looking for um, <laughs> I'm looking for a, a, a tabaxi, a halfling, and a oh, I'm not sure what he was. Let's see. I think he was some sort of high elf. That I'm looking for them. Do you know where they could be? I'm so sorry to bother you. I must have been uh, disturbing your cooking session. I'm safe then. Yeah, they, she hasn't she hasn't seen you. They went to the bathroom. Have you have you tried your mom's house? Okay, I think that's going to. Just be like your mum's house. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Let me in now, please. <laughs> no, we're no, we're here. 
And then she's going to, boys, off you go. And these two burly things are going to start trying to smash the door down. No, uh, don't come in. Don't come in. We're in the toilet I... together. Kitchen. Don't come in. I'm naked. <coughs> you would have got away with it. it. The mum joke, the, your mum thing was just like, no. Uh, I'm going to stand <laughs> and hold the door. All right. You can do and that. What if I cast invisibility on the door so they don't see what to punch? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my goodness, I have too many tokens on my screen now. Oh god. Too many tokens. Uh, okay, uh, I think I'm going to roll to smash the door down. I would like Boris to do an opposed strength check. I'm gonna give him bardic inspiration. <sighs> so... And I guide, I, I'd have cast guidance on myself as well to be like, Argh! Hold this door. All right, so they roll because they're they're assisting themselves, and you are going to need to remain safe upon this floor, boys. You must hold this door. Is it a d6? Uh, it is a d8. Yes, d8 indeed. Okay, so that's twenty. So twenty-four. A twenty-four. Sorry, my kids just showed up. <laughs> Bless him, he's so cute. Uh, just give me a second, everyone. Bear with. Baby, can you go to daddy, please? No, no, sweetie. Mommy's busy right now. I don't know why he's still up. It's over. T it's past 10 o'clock. Um, okay, right. So, yeah. Sorry, he's still up. Let's see. 24. Yeah, they're even rolling the advantage. They're not able to, to smash through with you holding it. But the door is a disaster. And you can see through uh, the splintered door, uh, the... The kind of the shape and the build of these creatures and the thing you're going to notice boris is your delicate nose is going to notice the stench of death on these things oh um i think hmm. what's inside is possibly undead uh, then i cast spirit guardians on myself now now open up says minerva on the other side they can do this all day and I'm sure you can't. Okay, we really do need to do our team building exercise, everyone. So come on, let's hurry up. Can I see her through the, the hole in the door? Not, unfortunately not because of the, the two dudes that are like smashing the door down. And I designate the party and the dude as protected from my guardians. Uh, the 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 guard yeah the yeah. The, the one whose uh tendons you slashed and then yeah. healed up and actually fixed <clears throat> okay so our our good friend minerva is going to continue shouting through this is just wasting everyone's time i had a report that there was a disturbance in the kitchen i also noted you didn't show up to your team building exercise i'm sorry to say this but i am going to have to write this up bean starts playing his loot louder than she speaks <laughs> boys carry on <laughs> door smashing the whole time all right every six seconds they have to do what are they call uh wisdom saving throws uh what's the spell yeah. spirit guardians so what can you see the aura when they begin their turn in this aura they do a wisdom saving for, throw for, and if they pass they take half damage if they fail they take the full damage it's uh it's magic right yeah okay cool are we meant to see the room that we're in uh no you want to see them really you could see that i mean the room that you're in i'll switch it back to where you guys are so uh, one second that's all right. I just couldn't see it, so I was wondering if we were going no, to No, so you, you're looking at them smashing in, and this is what's happening right now in your room. Um. So the doorway's here. <coughs> and that's where, yeah, okay, great. So the golems are on the other side of where Boris is. I can't believe he's holding them away. That's just annoying. All right, so I'm going to keep rolling for them to... Um, eventually, they're going to smash through. I don't even need to roll that because, you know, they, they, yeah. they're tireless. So they're going to do their, their wisdom saves. Is that right? Yep. 
Uh, here's the <coughs> damage. So if they, my spell save is 15. So half on fa on pass and so that's bad. That's the first one. And it's it's divine. It's sorry, it's yeah, radiant. It's radiant. radiant. If only we had some kind of big wooden things that we could use as barricades. And that that's also <laughs> that's also hitting the lady as well. Uh, she's too far back. She's in the radius, isn't she? She's she knows not to be too close. She's oh. literally just you know she's shouting through, and her voice is like this sort of screechy voice that follows. Trust me, she wouldn't be near this. You know, the minute she knows that you're casting something, she's backing off. <clears throat> All right. She is actually going to get hit by the 10, but she's just like, she's going to screech and she's going to say, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to take that as a form of aggression. And now I really, you are in trouble. You're going to have to speak to me now. Come on. Uh, and the golems are going to continue smashing those. See, I've done it again. I don't even need to have a screen, a DM screen. I'm just going to tell you what you're fighting against. And then okay. it's going to ruin it for everyone. Wait, you, you did say, <laughs> one of the first things he said today was, oh, I like reskinning golems. <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't say it in live on the stream. I said it separately when we were chatting in private, doing our private talks about DMings and things. Oh, gosh. Never mind. But you did say it to the people who yeah. are going to fight the golems. Yes, but you guys have fought golems with me all the, like loads. Have we? Mm -mm. I, I just, I just look, look back to Toby this guy has. I just be like, so just this witch out, out front of us, how tough is she really? Is she kind of like weak or something? What? No, she's just a halfling lady. What? I mean, if she she's sending like her undead things, maybe I should. Well, well, you use my we use Wackus Bonkers to talk to her. What? What? I I don't know. I should. I, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Undead. I don't know. <laughs> close and says. Right. Okay. So. Um. Eventually, there's going to be an arm poking, th poking through the wooden door, Boris. Right. So you're going to have to make uh, a dexterity save. Okay. Nineteen. Mm. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just wrote... <laughs> I don't know how to roll. Okay. Okay, it's not. It's go. It's not going to be able to grab you. <clears throat> uh, I'd like to look through the hole. Can I see the lady at the other side? Okay, let me switch back to the other map. Oh, there's too many maps. I think. I think you can, but the hall is quite. It's not like your is is your glowy thing like actually shedding light. No. In that case, well, have, you, you have, have dark, dark vision, vision, so you can you can spot her. I I would like to, as soon as I see her, use my bonus action to cast the spiritual baguette next to her. That's a baguette. Uh, then blank. smack her with the spiritual baguette, please. <laughs> can you please ask us? Does the does the baguette flank? Oh, wait, I need no. a, I need a baguette. I need a baguette. So the Bagot. spiritual baguette, um, twenty-two to hit. Oh, that's a terrible baguette. I'm it's sorry. That. What baguettes have you eaten? I I already booked. That's a, that's a ah, croissant. Already. It's a croissant. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh. Are the pastry goods are okay? <laughs> um, you can put bacon. You know, all sorts of crap in croissant. Okay, I, okay, so it went a bit wrong, and I cast a spectral croissant. Um, which does 20, uh, 22 to hit, 5 force damage. Alright, so she's going to get hit. Uh, it's not her turn. Uh, I think... Ooh, should we roll initiative? No, let's just keep it like this, because we'll just do one on the other. So it's only you and her doing stuff and her golems. Um, uh, and then so... with my act in the same turn with my action, I will target her with Toll the Dead. Can she do a wisdom saving throw? Yes. Uh, 
Okay, what's your save DC? 15. 15. And I'm guessing spiritual weapon hit. A spiritual weapon hit. Yep, yeah, so if this um, hit... But she got a 20, she got a 24 yeah, so, on her save. So she takes nothing. <clears throat> right. And that's me holds, holding these thing back. And then as soon as it's their turn, they take the damage again. Okay, so um, she's going to say, Boys, show them no mercy, but make sure that you don't liquefy them too much because of reasons. You've been warned. They're coming in now and the golems are going to plow through. Go back to the other screen. Oh my goodness. GM layer. Boop. Boop. And now you have two giant suited dudes break through with Boris's. I'm guessing Boris you're going to step backwards. Yeah, they they probably push me out of the way. Yeah, they'll push you out of the way and they're in the way now next to each other. And they are they are bigger than all of you obviously because you're all tiny anyway. The guard is going to piddle his pants. His pants are going to complain. You're going to hear the pain, Toby, of the pants crying out at the injustice of all this disorder. As well, the spell had only lasted for 10 minutes. Oh. Psychically link myself to all of. Can we can we just say that you do that you do psychically link them? Oh, never mind. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, um, I, I'm gonna add a new language. <laughs> uh, all right, okay. So everyone. Oh no, where's my turn order? I deleted it at the wrong time. Everyone, roll initiative. I did it right that time. Yay. Okay. So you're gonna have these two dudes show up. Their armor looks quite thick. It's Toby's turn first. It's uh, Beans' turn first. Beans is gonna try and run past. Just so you know, you're on. if you're on that table, that table is icy. Uh, yeah. It's gonna try and run past the two golems and straight for Minerva. Um, they are like pretty much standing at the doorway and they are not letting you through. So, but they are huge creatures or large creatures. They are large, so they are. So, you're, you're small, right? Yeah, I think I can run past them <clears throat> if I do a. Oh, that halfling thing, wasn't it? Mm-mm. That, that's not going to work, yeah. No. What if I ask them too nicely? <laughs> Please, <laughs> sir, would you mind? Mew. You can mew at them. I'll allow that. Persuade them. Maybe they were cat lovers. They were cat lovers. They are cat lovers. They are cat lovers, even in death. They love cats. I'm not a cat. Go on, halfling. <laughs> you at them. <laughs> Um. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, gosh. <laughs> he is going to cast this guy's self on himself and make himself look like Minerva. <coughs> okay. And then he says to the Golubs. Teamwork, guys. It's me, your boss, Minerva. I mean, you don't sound anything me. like her. Well, that I'm dead golem, so you know. Okay, whatever. all right. Um. <laughs> Attack her. She's an imposter. They literally saw you. Uh, all right, all right. Let's see. Um, do a, I guess, a deception. With advantage. Um, 
don't know what to roll. A wisdom save, a charisma save, I guess. Minus three. <laughs> uh, they're going to look at you very confused, but still step aside and let you through. Cool, he's gonna cool. run past. And they let you through. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, okay, is that your turn over? Yes. Okay, great. Let's go to the next one. Baby cat. Um, confused that her brother is now gone and replaced by a lady. Uh, is going to uh, jump up onto the table where Boris is. Probably skid forward. Where'd he go? Uh, and can I can I roll something to see if she realizes what's what happened? Just um, what would it be like an intelligence roll? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, uh, I don't think so because what? she's not the smartest. I just critted. <laughs> I was out. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Uh, okay, okay. Because it is literally, she's so dumb, and it's a rare occasion that she gets to, you know, figure something out on her own without being explicitly told what's happening. Uh, let's let's just say you you understand. Yeah, okay. She she figures out what's going on because it's her brother, and she knows her brother the best, right? I can't believe you were gonna take a crew from me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't I don't wanna hurt your feelings. Just like come on, let's calm down, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's Please fine. don't cry. <laughs> oh. Okay, so so Ham suddenly sort of catching on as to what is going on. Uh she is going to stand on the edge of the table. Just here. At the two golems. And you're like yeah, I'm, I'm with her. Can I come through, please? That you roll with disadvantage. <laughs> okay. Can you just be a persuasion? You can do whatever you want, but it's at a disadvantage. Per persuasion? A little bit of... Ooh. 21. What did I roll? Oh, they'll do the same. And let you through. So, bye bye, Boris. <laughs> she jumps down. Yeah, because they're gonna go after Boris. Oh, Boris, Boris. <laughs> but it, it is Bren's turn next. Oh God, what, what, what the? I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be with like the uh, with her as well. I am going to go and do these team building exercises because I give up and start wink. Wonk. <laughs> so it's the deception. Yeah, but every like the more it happens, the more disadvantages happen. So disadvantage. Well, that's in that one. Okay, cool. So they don't believe you, and that's your action over. So what do you want to do with your bonus action? Um. And also, you can't just walk past them because they the the reason why the other two could was because they're little and they could literally just go between their legs. And they let them. And they let them also do that. Okay. So, um, do I uh, if if I go, so they they take up four squares because they're large, aren't they? Mhm. Mm so if I move for myself there, let's say if I. Did I you go out of this one's um, melee range? Oh no, no you're didn't. staying. You're staying in the mellow range, right? I'm staying. I'm going. I'm just shifting around that one, and now I'm in this one's mellow range as well. Um, so I'm going to see how how big how how long um how long, uh, manifest echo is. Uh, I summon it. Oh, God, I wish it didn't really. Ca okay, so I can command the echo up to thirty feet. I really want it to show me when it's like. So Let's see now. Formation, 
because I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to manifest my uh, my echo just out outside of the place. Oh, I see. Okay, on yeah. the other side of the door. Yeah, on the other side of the door. That's kind of like somewhat near a min uh, of the actual one. Um, how how like uh how far is the actual Minerva? She um, you can't really see where you you can't see past the golems. They're quite big. Okay, I mean I can just get get like un under them or something like that, or maybe I, just no. I don't think you're gonna yeah. be able to see them. You can and also at the same time as you're trying to do this, beans and ham are also going out, so all vision is like blocked basically. I can just move to here and just see because like there's like a thing. What thing? Yeah, but only because the tokens aren't fat. They're yeah. filling up the whole. Yeah, yeah. So they're filling up the whole of that those square. So they're big and they're like covered in armor. And between one's legs, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rephrase. <laughs> beyond beyond mm. the golems, you can see, um, like high tailing is, um, beans, and on the other golem is ham so your vision is completely obstructed of anything that's going on beyond this room okay um i mean i could like um car you know like there's there's there'll be like a window and stuff like that i could just cast it through a window because i can see the outside through a window no this is the mess hall there's no windows here on this side uh. Does that make sense? So like, because there's just a door to get in here. This is just a this, wall. It's just the a door, yeah. Because this is this is a wall to the corridor, and oh no. <clears throat> okay, Brad. Um, what are you gonna do? You got you got six seconds to tell me what your bonus action is. I just, um. Well, my bonus action is that I don't, um, I don't really do like a bone. Oh well, I'll, man I'll manifest my echo he here anyway. So. Cool. I'm on the wrong screen. Panic. Back to the right screen. Echo. You should be able to control your echo. Do the thing that you do with it. Right, finally it's Boris's turn. Okay. I will be looking at them. Listen here, you bucket of bolts. And uh, then I'll bring my spiritual weapon into the room. And it just fly through um, our good friends. And then I'd like to bash this one here with the spiritual croissant. Yum. Uh, well, I'll bring it through and then bash at the spiritual croissant. Okay. Um, 19 to hit on this one. Mm, that hits. Uh, so that'd be 9 force damage. That was my bonus action. Uh, then with my action, I will swirl my hand together and give a punch to the air in front, casting Guiding Bolt towards the same one. Mm -hmm. So a good old Guiding Bolt. 18 to hit. Um, that's going to hit as well. Yeah, and that is 12 radiant. For this douche here. Cool. So we've got 12, uh, we've got 9 and 12. on. Yep, and uh, then I end my turn. Lovely. Right. Um, this big one on here, hold on a uh, second. He does a wisdom save. Just... Yeah, I've got the right guys. Uh, wisdom save. Let's yep. do a wisdom save. And it'd be ten damage if he gets um, fourteen and under. Then fifteen and above, it'd be five. Okay, he so he's going to take ten damage. Yep. And then he's going to go over to you guys and slam into the dwarf. Slam, slam. One, two. Okay, uh. He's gonna miss both times. Oh no, he hits the 20! Hit the 20 hits. Yeah, 20 hits, yeah. 13! 13, 13, um. 13 ouches. 13 ouches for you, bludgeoning damage. Okay. 
uh, then I have to do a com save. Yep, and I maintain my spell. Okay, so next time, the next guy is going to smash into... Uh, he also does a wisdom oh, save. Oh yeah, sorry. Bip, bip. He's going to take more ouches. And he's going to also fail the save, and then he's going to try and slam into Bren, who's behind So him. here's his damage. He takes uh, 12. Ouchie. I'm so bad at maths. Right. right. So he's going to try and attack Bren. And he's going to smash into him. Um, I don't know why he rolled with advantage, but the first one got a 26. He's first... flanking. Oh, of course he is. Yeah, so the first one got a 26, and the second one got a 16. The 16 is going to miss, I think. 16 hits. Oh, the 16 so hits. Uh -huh. So both of them are going to hit, and you are going to take 24 damage, slamming damage in total. <laughs> slamming damage! That's the official the official word for it. Slam damage. Um, so you're going to take 24 damage, and now it's going to roll back to our friend... We're gonna go to the next area. Would be really easy if I had the same. Never mind. To Baxi and. Oh, they the... got far. Well, they had. The, they used all their movement, right? <laughs> Hydra baguette. Okay, so there you go. We've got bar we've got uh, beans and ham, and they can see Minerva waiting and tapping on her, you know, pretend watch. Sighing, you know, with a clipboard, writing some notes down about the awful conduct of this workplace. So you're saying she's distracted? Great. Yes, she is very distracted because she thinks everything's okay. She didn't hear you trick the golems. Beans Nerva is gonna rush up and jam his Ooh. lovely rapier right into her face. All right, go on then. Roll. Uh, mm, yeah, do your roll. Go on. I was going to say, she, did she, you get anything else out of that? It's going to hit. Uh, I'm going to spend one of my body inspiration slots to use psychic blades. Ouch. Is that the correct thing? I, I don't know. I have what no is idea. It I don't know. Just blades at all. Yes, psychic blades. Uh, he leans in and he says, Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> 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 Can you roll an extra d6 for that? <laughs> for burn damage. <laughs> sure again. That's a total of 17. Uh, that's Sorry, that's 6 piercing and 11 psychic damage then. I'm going to count the burn damage as psychic as well. <laughs> Alright, she's not looking too healthy. Uh, and now it's going to be... Uh, and unfortunately... Not unfortunately... She wasn't, uh, she, you know, her initiative's taken up by the golem. So she is going to uh, be, she's going to collapse on the floor. She's bleeding out. <laughs> and now it is Kitty Cat's turn. Ham. Ham is running towards, and as she's running, she's like, Do I kill? Do I kill? Meow. Get to that point. And uh, she'll have, by this point, she'll probably have, uh, the uh, infamous mind stick out and ready and she will bring it up and bring it down it'll be a non well we'll just see what happens won't we that hit uh yeah <laughs> no no of course it hits uh, yeah and because she's come so close and you know it's quite sudden i believe that is a sneak attack as well so She's flat. Because she's flat. Within five feet as yeah. well. Yeah. That's a bonk across the noggin. For eleven damage in total. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's finished. She's going to die confused, uh, and immediately the golems in the other room are going to, you know, power down. Uh, oh no! I think I cracked her. Ooh. Good job, sister. Oh, it's a good thing. Oh. <coughs> Thank you. I'm in the wrong page. 
Okay, so now that that's happened, we're going to end the session because it's like half past, I think, or past half past. Oh, gosh, we're a little yeah. late today. Sorry, everyone. Um, we will catch you, hopefully, in two weeks. Wait, I have an outro. I have an outro, everyone. Ready? Let's stop. Let's stop. Just listen to my outro. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait. Catch you in two weeks. I already said that. <laughs> Great outro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, if you're interested in playing with us at the Tabletop Tavern Club, visit our site at tabletoptavern.club um, and join our Discord. We'd love to have you online with us and um, in person if you're in Canterbury or in the Kent area and want to travel down to Canterbury. So yeah, we will catch you another time. Oh, next, no, not next week, the week after. Bye! Bye! Nice. I just Bye. Maybe the real treasure was the people we met in the hospital when we broke our nose and they also had broken our nose <laughs> out of the way. <laughs>